What's up YouTube? Finally back with an update. Sorry I've been gone for quite a while. I don't know, it's been two weeks or a little over two weeks without a video. Um, but I am back now. Sorry, I got dogs wrestling on the couch right there. But uh, I'm back now. Uh, I had some family issues going on. You know, kind of neglected, neglected the tanks for a while, but you know, family comes first, as you guys all know. But uh, my dad had a quad, quadruple bypass heart surgery, um, so I was there for him, you know, taking care of him and stuff. And I stepped away from the tanks for for a little bit, and uh, I did lose quite a few things, you know. But it's all good. I'm getting it all back, and it's all getting set up now. I appreciate everybody's help and all, everybody's prayers and stuff. Uh, my dad actually had a miracle surgery done, so. Uh, you know, God definitely helped him out, and I thank everybody for helping me through that. So, but yeah, I'm back now. I uh, got an update for you guys on the reef tank. I did set up the 40 gallon breeder reef with the halide still. Got the halides hanging from the ceiling, as you can see. I may lower them a little bit more, but right now they're staying right there. You know, I'm going to acclimate the corals to them more. Uh, before the move, because I didn't get to move uh, all the tanks to the new house when I wanted to, because I had that surgery going on, um, I did lose some things. Uh, tore down all, all the other tanks, the cichlid tank. I had three or four fish jump out the same day all that was happening, and uh, you know I just didn't have the time. I don't have, you know, what I need to to keep that that tank going, and I don't want to keep ordering peacocks and stuff online, and I can't get a whole lot local, so. I'm not doing the peacock out show tank anymore. Um, the 80 gallon is going to be planted, which it already has started. I uh, got some substrate in there and a few plants. I'm going to show you guys that in the next update. But uh, I am keeping Umbuna cichlids. Uh, I can get them locally. I have my yellow lab still, so I'm going to set up a 55 gallon Umbuna tank. Just no more peacocks and haps in the 80 gallon. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You know, we all go through some hard times, and, you know, I'll definitely get through it. Um, as far as the 40 gallon breeder, got it set up, got a 29 gallon sump, I'm going to be getting it running tomorrow, I got to go get some more water. Uh, I have a 4 bulb T5 fixture on here, I'm only going to run 2 bulbs though for the Chetomorpha and you know, other algaes or whatever I want to put in here. I may take it off, it may be a little too much, but that's what's on there right now. Uh, it's got a nice sized refugium, so uh, you know this is a 40 gallon tank and a 29 gallon sump, so you know it's, it's a pretty good sized sump for this tank, I should have a... Uh, some nice filtration in this. Uh, I am going to get a skimmer eventually. Uh, probably the reef octopus. I already have it measured out. It's going to go in this chamber. Refugium with a little bit of live rock rubble, chato, and uh, some Kimmy Pure and stuff on this other end. And you know, we'll be rocking. But I'm going to set that up tomorrow. My overflow right here. Uh, in order to get it on here, I have to cut down this piece of PVC right here to make it fit. So I'm doing that as soon as this video is done. And tomorrow I'm going to go get the parts I need. Um, but the tank's doing awesome. I lost some corals due to, to all of that going on. I left my tanks and lights were off for three to four days. Uh, salinity jumped like crazy from all the evaporation. Just a bunch of bad stuff went on. But I did lose some, some corals, but I did save some parts to them. Um, this is the, the green slimer acro. All the, all the corals pretty much turned brown on me, which was shitty. But, uh, they are getting their color back now. This is what's left of the green slimer. And uh, it's, uh, it's doing okay. It's starting to get its green color back. Uh, the red digitata, it did okay through it. It, it got kind of browned up, but it's starting to get the orange back, orange and, orange and red coloring. Uh, on the other side of this green acro is completely white skeleton. It all died off. But uh, I, I trimmed it all off, and uh, now it's getting its color back. This thing was solid brown. And just with two days with the, these halides on it, now that the tank's set up, it's already getting color back. So I'm stoked about that. The anemone is doing amazing, man. This thing's grown so much since I got it. You guys can look at my other videos and see when I got it. Um, haven't even been feeding it a whole lot, man. But uh, since I added these halides, uh, this thing is just loving it. As you can see, it's kind of stretched up in a nice little spot. It's tucked in that hole, and it's doing awesome. So, real happy about that. The zoas, of course, nothing happened to them. They, they grow without light, it seems. <laughs> They're doing great. Uh, some frags of this Montipora, uh, lost them, but I do got the main part, so Vinny, I'm going to frag you another piece off that when I send them. Got you a frag of Digitata, too. 
Uh, I got a little bit of pink bird's nest left right there. Trying to save that. Uh, the pavona coral is coming back now. It's actually grown. You can see this little hump right here. That's all new growth. So happy about that. Danny, these are your these are your zoas right here. I'll try to get them in the light for you. I'm sending you. You can see there's some watermelons. There's some kryptonites. And there's some orange skirts on the end right there. Those are going to you, bro. Also another little frag of zoas. And I got some other frags for Vinny. So I'm going to get that stuff sent out Monday. Uh, that's the plan. And uh, going to go get some more corals. Hopefully tomorrow I might go get some green star polyps. Maybe a couple SPS. But uh, i got to get this rocking again because I did lose quite a bit. But, uh, you know, things happen and I'm going to get it all rocking again. Uh, I do need to add a few more pieces of live rock. I have some lace rock underneath all this as the base rock. But you can't even really see it. So, you know, there's about... 30 pounds of rock in here and it's 40 gallon tank so I definitely need to get 10 15 more pounds and I'm gonna put some in the in the sump in the refugium area too so I don't you know overload this tank with live rock um, but yeah let me know what you guys think I do want to give a big shout out to DT aquariums let me show you guys his channel I know a lot of you guys know him he's uh, really come popular on YouTube he's an awesome dude there's this channel DT aquariums uh, show you guys some of his videos he's got a badass planet tank he does the dry ferts uh, estimative index dosing method and then it works awesome you see all the plants how healthy how healthy they are and uh, everything's looking awesome but me and him did a little trade we were talking on fish tank central and uh, we did a little trade he knew I was looking for some power heads for this new tank so he told me he had two Coralia 750s in a closet that he used to use and they're pretty much brand new and here they are right here. So we did a little trade. He sent me those and I ordered him some of his dry ferts. And uh, I really, really appreciate that man. Uh, they, they're perfect for this tank, two Coralia 750s. And uh, they're definitely putting in work and I really, really appreciate it. So check out his channel guys, DET Aquariums. I'm going to put his link down there and uh, if you haven't subbed him, sub him. You guys will won't be disappointed. Um, here's a little Coralia 240 going to Vinny. Uh, my other one's laying down here somewhere in this mess of wires. It's going to Vinny and also a, a wave maker I'm sending him for his birthday. His birthday just passed so that's what I'm gonna do for him. Uh, this thermometer I just have right here because I'm checking the temperature with the halides. These halides you can see the temperature stays right at 77 78 which is perfect it has not these highlights have been on all day they've been on about seven hours now at least and uh, the temperature has not changed and when I do get the sump running that's going to drop the temperature a couple of degrees as well so don't have to worry about any heat issues with this with this at all so I did get a new bulb uh, sorry I'm rambling on I got a lot to say I might do another video later but I got a new Phoenix 14k bulb uh, a few friends uh recommended it so I got it yesterday I was gonna do a video but it was real blue and I couldn't even pick up any colors on here but uh, for the last two days the bulbs broke in even more now it's a nice crisp look and you can actually see the colors in the corals now on this camera so uh, it'll definitely get better of course these cameras don't pick up the true colors but let me know what you guys think and I'm gonna get some more corals soon so that's what's up guys let me know what you guys think I'm gonna be focused on this reef a lot and I do have the 80 gallon over there, lights are off, but I got some plants in it, some substrate, so I'll be showing you guys that soon, and uh, also a cichlid tank I'm setting up, so I appreciate all the, all the help guys, all the prayers, thanks everybody, and uh, I'll have videos coming every day now, so talk to you guys later, peace.